This is EZOSX, and today I'm showing you how to pair a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons to your Mac. We're going to break this video up into two parts. First will be games downloaded from the Mac App Store slash Apple Arcade games, followed by Steam games. Please note, however, that if you're wanting to use this for Mac App Store and Apple Arcade games, you'll want to ensure that you're running Mac OS 13 Ventura or later, otherwise this won't work for you. If you're going to use this for games outside of the App Store, then you don't necessarily need to worry about this. Let's start out with the Mac App Store and Apple Arcade games. The benefit of games downloaded through the App Store is that you can use your controller over Bluetooth. To get started, go to the Settings app on your Mac, then go to the Bluetooth section in the sidebar. Leave this open for the time being. On the Pro Controller, find the little round sync button on the top near the charging port. Press and hold this for a few seconds until you see the lights on the bottom bouncing back and forth. You should see the name Pro Controller pop up under the Other Devices section. Tap it, and after a few seconds, you'll be connected. Now onto the Joy-Cons. Pull out the Joy-Con and look on the side that is normally connected to the Switch, where the shoulder buttons are. You should see the little round sync button in there. Press and hold it until the lights next to it start flashing. On screen, you should see the Joy-Con L or Joy-Con R, depending on which controller you're connecting at the moment. Hit the connect button, and as before, you should be connected. If you have two Joy-Cons actively connected to your Mac, then they'll work as two independent controllers used in the sideways manner like you would on Switch. However, you can use a left and right Joy-Con as a single set by pressing and holding the screen capture button and the home button on both controllers at the same time for about three seconds. You won't see anything appear on screen or any indication from the controllers, but now you can hold them vertically and use them as a unified controller. The Pro Controller has some extra features if you choose to use it here. In the Bluetooth settings, you can click the little information I and rename the controller. If you hit the Game Controller setting button, you'll find the settings sidebar will scroll down to a new section called Game Controllers with more options. Namely, you can identify the controller, causing it to vibrate, and create and edit profiles, which are custom controls and settings you can make per controller or per game. So I'll name this one Tomb Raider and I can set the A and B buttons to be inverted. Scrolling down, you'll have options for the share button. By default, double tapping it will trigger macOS's recording feature. However, I like to change it so that the double tapping will make it a highlight and holding will trigger the recording. Once you're happy with your settings, then hit done, and you've now got your new profile. To set the profile, click on the controller in the game controller settings page and then hit the plus button in the bottom left corner. Now select your game, hit open, and that game will be in the sidebar. You can now select the profile you want it to use in that particular game. And yes, I know I set the Tomb Raider controls for a different game, just roll with it. It gets a little tricky with finding games with controller support. Like its iOS counterpart, the Mac App Store has a tag for controller support alongside the developer's name, star rating, etc. But just like the iOS counterpart, some games don't use that tag and either list it in the description or in the patch notes where it's added. That said, I find the tag for controller support much more common in the Mac App Store than in the iOS Store. If you're a member of Apple Arcade, many games will have controller support on the Mac, though not all of them. The great thing is for the games that do support controllers, once you've got the controller connected, all you have to do is launch the game and everything will just work. Some games will let you adjust and remap the controls, but that's on a game by game basis. Next, let's talk about Steam. As I mentioned before, even if you're not running Ventura or later, Steam can still recognize the Switch controller, so you're not out of luck. But you will have to use a wired connection to use the controller with Steam. Steam's menus will work over Bluetooth, but most games will not even see the controller unless it is connected via USB. So go ahead and connect the controller with your USB cable. Now in Steam, hit the Steam label on the far left side of the menu bar, and then hit Preferences. In the window that pops up, hit Controller in the left sidebar, and then hit General Controller Settings. It should take you to a big picture mode interface. Near the bottom left corner, you should see your controller listed under the Detected Controller setting. Assuming you do, then check the Nintendo Switch Configuration Support, and you're all set. You can also choose to toggle use Nintendo Switch layout if you want the A and B buttons to be inverted in games to match the Xbox controller scheme, which is what many Steam games follow. If you want to adjust your controller settings on a general level, then go back to the Preferences window 
and edit them under the big picture configuration where it'll be used most conveniently or desktop configuration, which is disabled by default. Many, but not all games in Steam that support controller settings will also have some options for button remapping or controls within them too, so make sure to check those separately. In videos past, I've recommended an app called Joystick Mapper for games not in the Mac App Store or in Steam. However, that app no longer seems to work properly, which makes sense given how long it's been since it's been updated. But it means I can no longer recommend it in good conscience. And sadly, I've not found any good replacement apps for it outside of game-specific apps such as the controllable mod for Minecraft. If I find any more universal apps, I'll let y'all know. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.